Can you guess what I've been doing? I've got spanners and tools and cable ties, my favourite thing, and electrical tape and soldering iron. Can you guess what I've been doing? Yes. Currently, in the UK, the temperature is 34 degrees Celsius. Now, that might not be a lot for some of you lot in Australia or America or wherever you're from. But 34 degrees Celsius in England is hot. Something that we're not used to. Um, yeah, it's very sunny and hot. And, and um, my aircon fan on the old Discovery was seized solid. So the aircon works fine, but the pressure on the hot side gets really, really hot. Uh, um, gets really, really high pressure wise, up to like 20 bar. So I had to go, I couldn't get um, a genuine Discovery 2 aircon fan because they all seized up. Because apparently, what happens is the water gets in the motor and it can't drain out, so it just seizes up. So, what I had to do was look on eBay for 26 quid. I found a universal one from Jack Parts, and um. It's a 12 inch fan but it didn't quite fit so I had to cable tie it in at the bottom and I cable tied it in at the top there and uh, it's quite fairly sturdy now which is good it doesn't move too much which is good um, it shouldn't you know shouldn't move too far um, the fans obviously only going to be kicking in if I'm sitting stationary anyway um, I had to solder the wires together, I had to solder the black to the blue and the uh, blue to the black because if I solder blue, blue and black to black the fan span round the wrong way. Luckily it's a reversible motor so it can spin either way. But um, on the original fan the blue was to blue and the black was to black and it spanned the right way. Um, it's pushed it, pushed the uh, air from the front to the back which is what it needs to do apparently, push from the front to the back and that's what it does now. So, luckily we're okay, it works alright, and the aircon's nice and cold. So, I didn't video doing it because I couldn't be bothered man, it's too hot, but it's alright now. So now I'm just going to pack up, and I've got an interest in delivery indoors. That'll be another video. Sweet. There's the old one. you probably see the difference, it's got bigger fins on it, but... I don't know, this never worked, you see, so I can't compare the amount of air displacement, how much air it moves, compared to the new one. The new one's got smaller fins, but put my hand on it, or near it, there is a lot of air that moves through it, so I do hope that it is going to be enough to keep the old pressure down in the old aircon system, because I don't want anything blowing up, and I want to keep the aircon working, so... I'm actually sweating like a pig, it's actually running down my head at the minute, going in my eyes. It is stupid, but, um... What can you do? I tried to free this up with some WD-40, but it didn't work, man. It's absolutely fucked. So, there we go. An old aircon fan. Everyone want it? Good, because it's going in the bin. Right, let's go and have a look at this delivery. 